Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. That's what we all want this day and age, right? Not me. That's a load of rubbish. We all want these Western materialistic things. Flat screen, sneakers, wealth. He just found a loophole. I hate his guts. He hates his leverage. Yeah, yeah. noises here. Looking into it. Over. Hello? Advance to be recognized. Command. Acknowledge. Repeat. We're clear. I'm serious. Is that the shisha den right now laughing his ass off? <laughs> oh, man, that is so... Like Jeff, but come on, GNN is one of the biggest news networks in the world. You can't just take their money and run. Well, apparently they're doing an interview with Klaus Stromberg, you know, that white collar asshole who's held up at the Swedish consulate. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Just go ahead, man. Would you believe my luck? I'm at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer from GNN. You can find me on the web! At, at... Look, sir. Hey, buddy. Oh, thank you. Come on,
How you been? Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Jeez, what does General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? Keep us safe, we'll soldier. kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. Fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are at the far bottom of a very long list. And I'd worry less about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who sees our way. Ah, yes. Hang the traitor. Thought about that scenario for a minute or two. Thank you. So much. Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. Oh, those people, they have no idea what's about to happen. Don't think about it, just do the job. Some soldiers back at the school, I've heard them talking. They have fake Crystal Dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot at the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in. That's a shitty outlook, man. We are part of this. You, me, right here, right now. Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up, and somebody will. Salam alaikum. You want a lamp? These are hey dark there, times, Richard, man. No? Let in some light, I see. Pushing, asshole! Yeah, hi there. Uh, remember me, Rudy? My wife sent me back to get those lamps you showed us earlier. No problem. Take a look around the market. I come back and pick it up in ten minutes. Just need to get hold of my assistant first. Push me again and see what happens. Snail soup, snail soup, soft and warm and well cooked. You from the print shop? Uh, whatever, keep walking.
Yo, what's up? Pr About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Greetings, Mr. Printman. Oh, that was smooth. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What do you what do, you do poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the reasons that killed him. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what did he do? Prisoners, uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor and that's all there is to it. Attention, everyone! That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. Crystal Dawner on everyone's lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. That's the way. Was that? Hey, mister, this this your work? Huh? Hey, ship bag. That's enough. That's it, man. Okay. Got it. He probably went crying home to his mommy. <laughs> no. You did it, don't even try to deny it. Reek of guilt. Man, I got nothing. 
getting a report. I got eyes on him right there. Over. You're surrounded. Give yourself up. Now. You're in. Good work, 47. There now to locate General Zaydan. Come on, tell me, what's up? We've got reports of a real troublemaker out there. Do you have an ID? Offender was posing as print shop staff. I understand. Carry on. Someone in here? Hello? That's the way, sir. Bashir, is your team ready? Oh, yeah. I have a couple of guys downstairs ready to distribute the weapons, and a dozen others already working the crowd, talking up a storm. I tutored them myself on Crystal Dawn rhetoric. You know, a third way for Africa. Socioeconomic progress that rejects the failed politico-economic dogmas of the 20th century, that type of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'd say we're ready. And the guns? You were able to get the real deal. An authentic batch of vintage rebel Kalishnikovs. These babies have been on the losing end of more conflicts than you'd care to count. No one, trust me, no one's going to believe this wasn't the work of the real Crystal Dawn. Excellent work, Bashir. Come and see me in Rabat after the takeover. Reliability is hard to find. Will do, General. Or should I say, Mr. President. Still no fire was left. I need
I didn't mean to touch you, sir. I'm so sorry. Salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. You sold us outside. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't supposed to have been at the prison transport. But you know what they say about omelets. And he died for a cause. To line the pockets of your mysterious backers? I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now, please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do. Mr. Ol Whoa! Oh. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand.
Thanks for responding so quickly. We never expected something like this. I'm not dead, but I'm not dead. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. The massage expert, Connie Engstrom, reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Six small screws and five Eight plastic uh, knobs, I guess you would call them. What the hell are those for? It is not fair. It is. It isn't. Can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had no own, well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald. It is. Believe me. Yeah. No. Do not put me on hold. I could go for a smoke. Uh, yes, I'm still here, and I'm still not doing it. Forget about the angry mob, okay? Do you know who this Strandberg guy is? Shape and up, and the little wheel that moves in a counterclockwise. Okay, screw this. You let me down, Nate. You still the wet guy. He filed for divorce shortly after the birth of their daughter. I love this job, don't you? Hey, mister, I think you dropped that. Huh. What's up? 